All right, guys, fire away. TJ Hawes didn't practice today. Yeah. Yeah, I'm allowed to just say whatever, aren't I? Sure. So TJ had surgery uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, we should have him back next season. Uh, he's going to have to. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, he's a couple weeks away. He just had to have a little scope on his knee. So uh, he's great. It was just um, he was having some pain. And so we kind of were debating about whether to just manage it through the whole season or just try and clean it up. And so we cleaned it up. And it seemed like a great decision two weeks ago. And now since he missed the first week of practice. It's, all, it's just so awful not having him out there. But it is giving some other guys a chance to, to run this point. Uh, it's giving... Connor Harding a chance to work the point, which is really important for us. And Blaze Neald uh, has actually had a great uh, two practices so far today, and and um, so and TJ will be back here in ten days or so. So it's all good. Have you got an answer back on those two red shirt opportunities for No, we we have, and I you know I don't know what's going to happen with those. I I uh, I'm actually a huge fan of. The NCAA, I have a lot of faith in them, and, and so I expect that we'll get positive answers back. What are some of the goals you're looking to accomplish here in training camp now that practice? So uh, we just have a lot of things to figure out right now. So it just with our roster, it's just an interesting spot with TJ and Zach, and Zach out right now, and then we, we kind of have this little, uh, you know, uh, part of the roster that we're trying to figure out what's going to happen with, and then with Yoli missing the first nine games, there's just um, – it just is, we just have to kind of, we're just dealing with interesting roster feel right now in terms of trying to figure out how we're going to play and what we're going to do and, and how we're going to communicate. That's like a secondary issue. Right now what's fun is just getting to be on the court with these guys. I spent the last two weeks uh, literally straight um, traveling. I, I uh, Like eight days ago I got a message on my phone and alert that I, I congratulations you have just um, achieved a diamond elite status on Delta and it was like one of the most depressing moments of my life I was like <laughs> what am I doing with my life but you know so it's just so for me personally it's so fun to be in the gym and these guys are such such good young men and they enjoy this game so much you know we're finishing two a days a day trying to shut down practice and they're yelling at me because they want to go another couple of reps and that's pretty great so and then to go on about you figuring out the roster, uh -huh. um, so because there are about there are seven seniors that are yep. on the team this year, have you seen someone step forward kind of as the leader of the team? Yeah, it's been, it's actually been, been really fun because we have a lot of guys that are that are feeling out their little slice of leadership roles, right? So uh, today with TJ out, we had him run a session in the morning practice where he, he had to run this the segment, and then in the afternoon practice we try to have him run a segment. And so, you know, just trying to see if he can step up and be more vocal uh, since that's the only part of his body he can work out right now. It's been fun. And uh, Yoli Childs is uh, is – really really working to show some leadership skills in terms of the energy and effort and positivity on the floor that's uh there's genuinely a um is is somewhere he's trying to stretch and grow and uh this Dalton Nixon is just such a perfect quiet team leader in terms of him just caring about winning uh you know Connor Harding as a young player is 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 you know trying to reach into a a leadership role right now in terms of just being a uh, a quiet guy that's just you know he, he just works so hard every single second of practice uh, you know I can kind of go down the list of all the guys that are, are trying to step up and, and, and do good things for so it's it's a it's a positive leadership by committee uh, situation I think sometimes you have leadership by committee because there's nobody that's ready to show some leadership skills and on this team I think you know at least right now the first day of practice we have a lot of guys that are interested in trying to participate Oh, Great. So he was uh, actually in the pool for the first time today on the treadmill. Uh, so we're super excited about that. He's worked so hard with his fitness. Like if you look at his body right now, it looks great. Which, which, um, we, we, which I, I can't really say too much, but we're so proud of him. Please, because he's working really hard. Uh, Coach Sork has him like boxing on a chair, and he's he's, he's got. You know, he's become the poster boy for abs of steel because that's really all he can do right now. And he's he's working really hard. Spent a time, you know, Coach Short sends me videos of him in the pool every single day. He's not drowning as much as he was two weeks ago. And so he, he's working hard. He's going to be ready. He'll be ready. So it'll be fun. What would you say ready for game one? Yeah, I'm hoping for game one. 
So that's that's my goal. You know, they, it was a Jones fracture surgery, so they put a screw in the screws there, and so you know, it's it's not like it, it's a, a huge concern about refracturing it. Hopefully, right? And um, and so you know, it's we actually rushed him back from Italy, you know, five days early because the timing was so tight in terms of the estimate of when he would be fully recovered to get to game one. So. We're really hopeful. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But he's doing everything humanly possible. I mean, he's been so diligent to get back. So, First time we talked to you since the schedule came out, would, would you comment on that and what the Cody did on yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Cody and, and and Bobby, you know, slave away on the schedule. And actually, a lot of the schedule was done. Coach Coach Rose left us a great schedule. Um, we just had to fill in some pieces, and we had to. You know, late we had to kind of rework some stuff just because we wanted to f- shuffle a couple things timing wise, and and uh, but we're excited about it. It's a hard schedule, guys. I mean, it's really hard, and that's 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 what we live for, right? To to go play. Um, we're going to face some really tough competition without our full roster, and 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 it's gonna it's gonna challenge us and test us, and not just test us on the court, but after after games and before games, and and trying to see what we're made of and who can step up. You know, in some of our guys' absence to go make plays, and so I think it's a great schedule. That'd be hard to ask for more. I mean, we even have some great home games. We get Nevada at home, and we get um, we get uh, uh, UNLV at home, or is UNLV at Vivint? Utah State. Yeah, Utah State, you know, we, uh, we get Nevada, and who else? Uh, San Diego State. San Diego State at home, yeah. So uh, we, we got a couple big-time home games, and, and uh, obviously we, Maui, we, we got a work cut out for us. We, you know, if, if we can beat UCLA, then we get, theoretically, we get Kansas and then Michigan State. It's pretty good three games in three days, right? So so we're super excited about the schedule. I mean, come on, you dream about getting a chance to play these games. So. You know, you're always going to miss those first nine games. Uh, we, it's just going to be complicated to manage. I don't know yet. Like I keep thinking about what's the right thing to do. If you guys have suggestions, please help me out. <laughs> My plan shh, is I am actually we're looking at legally changing Yoli's name so that we can actually play on those nine games. So don't tell anybody that, but that's the plan. So we're thinking about putting all the letters backwards or something, and that would be the best solution right there. Since you got hired, I'm sure it's been a whirlwind doing all these different things and getting familiar with the universe. Is it just nice to now start to dial in and get ready on the day in, day out of being on the court, in the gym, and get ready for the season? Yeah, I mean, so fun. I got I got off the road last night. I, I landed, I think, at 745 last night. And I, I really hadn't hardly set foot in, in here in the last two weeks. Uh, and so it just was, man, it just was... It just is so therapeutic to come in the gym, right? It's just this is, is what we do all this for, right? Just have a chance to come here and grow as a team. So it is magical to be on the court. It's, 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 a, it's a great place to be in. So it was a fun day. I wish we could go three a days, right? Because it's just, just you get to be on the court. How long will you go with, with two a days? Uh, well, we've, you know, in the past I've done it three weeks, five weeks. Um, it just is, uh, you know, we could do it two weeks. I really don't know. It's kind of a feel as we go. We, we did get these extra three weeks of work um, with, with in the summer. We try to scale things back prior to the workouts for that trip and then in terms of doing no contact individual stuff. And then when we got back, we shut it down for a while. But um, we'll kind of feel out the team, right? Uh, we kind of keep... Um, we, we keep the schedule a little bit flexible, almost even from day to day, uh, just to kind of monitor bodies and see where they are. And we keep the practices pretty short, so it's two practices a day, but uh, they're not, you know, it's not two three hour practices a day. So I do think that, uh, you know, these, these two a days have been really, really good to us. I think it instills a sense of. Uh, it's different. It feels different than than the rest of your life, right? And I think it instills this this part of where you sacrifice a lot. Like these guys, this was really fun. But when they, their alarm goes off at five fifteen tomorrow morning, and they realize they're coming for the first of two more practices, it's a little bit sobering, right? But the more you invest as a player, the harder it is for you to settle for anything less than great, and 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 to kind of walk away when things aren't quite right. So, hopefully, that'll be the same with this team. How much 
how, how the players take into your analytic approach, the analytics that you give them in terms of uh, learning about their play? And how their play. I, think, I think they've been pretty receptive. Um, I think they find it really interesting right now. But what, what's going to really – when it's going to really pay off is as they start to see, if is they start to see how their numbers change because they've paid attention to them and they know their game a little bit better. Does that make sense? So, um, you know, like w- the real payoff is is mid season and then post season when they've kind of made the commitment to 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 ch- to change the nuance of their game and some of their decision making. And then all of a sudden, next year, this year they were like a point eight nine, and next year they're a one point oh four, and they're like and they've gone from the sixty first percentile in the country to the ninety first percentile, and then they're like, oh, I, I'm really good, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in on this. So. I think that's part of it. These guys so far have been extraordinarily trusting with me and the staff. And that's a gift that these guys have given us, right? To say, hey, we're going to really try and do it your way. Now, you know, we'll see what happens when we get into a game and, and it really matters and things are going sideways, right? But so far, they've been super trusting. All right. Okay. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate y'all.